Hello, welcome back to live session with me, Zandra. It's Celebrity Wednesday, and we've just watched Cine Mania, a highly entertaining program about what goes on in Hollywood. Now, a Malaysian celebrity feature for today started his music career quite unintentionally. His teacher read one of his poems out in class, and it didn't really come out the way he envisioned it to be. So he turned the poem into a song, so no one could misinterpret it. He's had a hard rock cafe tour in 2003 over 10 cities and 6 countries. Live Session presents to you Single Track Mind. When you first meet Single Track Mind's Alex Wong, you might wonder where the rest of the band is. But it doesn't take you long to realize that Single Track Mind is Alex Wong. It is his passion, his experiences, and his inspirations. So Alex, I'm really curious, you know, why Single Track Mind? I mean, your name is Alex, and your nickname is Xander. Why not use really one of these? Well, I wanted something that really was so far away from my normal life. And, you know, my life has so far been about focus. So I thought Single Track Mind is kind of, kind of that way, you know? What he calls his normal life isn't really simple either. The Borneo Island-born singer is also a F1 photographer and a professional jet ski racer. So how did you get into music? I fall into it so much as it started with poetry. And um, one day my, my school teacher read out one of my poems and I listened to it. I went, no, no, that's not, that's not the way I had it in my head. So I went, okay, I'm going to turn it into a song. That way a song is all finite, you know? You hear it, the tune is there, the way it's expressed is there. So I took out one of my poems and I turned it into a song. And after that, I just went, okay, learn the piano. So I taught myself the piano. And then it just snowballed. And snowballed it did. His debut album, No Reason, was released in 2003. And just a year later, Single Track Mind was nominated for Best New Local English Artist, Best Engineered Album and Best Video at the Anugra Industry Music 2004. His new album, Hey, was released in March 2007 and two songs from this album, Still the Same and Light Fades, has been featured in a Hollywood psychic thriller movie, The Third Doorway, which stars Gary Dorden from the CSI Vegas TV series. <laughs> two of your tracks are actually in Hollywood movies. Now, how did that happen? How did you well, I had, I had a publisher, Diana. Uh, in LA and then she kind of like just feel that my songs out there and I thought okay it'd be great if it gets onto a romantic comedy or something and then suddenly it came back and they said it's a forensic horror movie and I went what a horror film myself like the way it was before. single track minds music is best described as eclectic and ranges from singer songwriter pop to intense rock since you're already there in LA are you gonna go overseas to pursue your music career wow. It's a hard thing to do. It's easier said than done. And, you know, I think to get two songs onto a movie there is a good start. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. It's an achievement in itself. Yeah, it's, you know, you get paid for it and then you get to see your music. I, it's great. I can't complain, so it's good. Stop my phone. Single Track Mind has also opened for In Excess when they were in Kuala Lumpur. I opened for In Excess, um, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And being recognized by them and being appreciated by JD and so on. Those are big, it's a big deal to me. I met them in LA and they were very nice and we did the deal to open in KL. It was six months later before I met JD again. He came, you know, like, hey Alex, and still remembered me. Those things are nice, nice moments in a, in a small music career. Even though Alex has written over 180 songs and only used 24 so far for both his albums, he wouldn't consider his music his main career. So what's the objective then? Every time someone comes up to me and says, you know, I heard that song, I saw the video, it really affected me. You know, recently I just, you know, recently I just had someone come up through someone else and said that, you know, the song 17 reminded him of the sister who passed away and so on. Those kind of things touch me, so... I get 20 of those and I'm like, great, it's good enough for me, you know? So if you could sum it up, then what is music to you? It's, music to me makes me feel, I know it's a cliche, but it really makes me feel like there's more to life than what I have. 
when I write a song and I finish writing it and, and I put my guitar down, it's like, you know, it's like, yeah. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. And I just can't wait to get in the studio and record it. After hearing what you've said, I think music to you is passion. Yeah, it's, it's passion. It's, it's a big part of my life, a huge part of my life. And maybe the best form of ambition is passion. Alex's life might not just be about music, but music has always been and always will be part of his passion for life.